Mm, okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share about this camera. This IP camera is DS2CD2T43 G0 i5. It's a HIK vision camera. It's a 4 megapixel outdoor bullet camera. Okay, what's special about this camera? Because this camera usually people are using for the parameter fencing. Okay, because you have a come with one special features, which is line crossing detection and ocean intrusion detection. Depends which one you want to use it. Okay. This camera is has some like this kind of functions. When the object moving, moving and cross the line, it will trigger the CMS of the software. So that's why they have a uh, notify the guard at the house, which is that have a software over there. That means it's a CMS software. So we thought it's very easy. We talk like this, but now I'm going to how to set up this camera to the HIK CMS software. Okay, so these are nothing to use. Okay, you can see here they have a SADP tools and also the IBMS 4200 client. Okay, SADP tools usually people are used for activate the camera, change the IP parameter, and also the reset camera password. So currently I need to use two only because the camera I just new installed to my system to my network system. First of all, I turn on the SATP. I click the these devices. The device is not activated, so just key in the your desired password as long as you not connect admin because the username is admin, so you just create your own password. Okay, activate the camera. Then after that, he will ask you to change the IP camera IP parameter. You just change the IP camera parameters, network parameter, which is matched to your system. Okay, so this is the camera password. Just now you'll be activated. You modify the cameras. Okay, the camera are modified is exactly the same network as yours. So you have seen the two dot zero dot two zero one. This is my network. I just double click on it. Okay, this part is uh, going to enter the cameras, uh, net, camera net configurations. Okay, so why we need to enter camera configuration? Because we need to do the setting of the virtual line. After that, we add this camera to the uh, CMS system. So, okay, I already access the camera and this is the view. So after all, you go to we go to the configuration. We go to the events, smart events. Okay, they have a three thing here. So today I want to say about this line crossing. Okay, how we are going to enable? We enable line crossing. Okay, you see they have a bottom here. They have a setting max size, mean size, and detection area. First of all, we choose the detection area first. I take it this way, it because I want to show you all how the thing pop up. Okay. So you see they have a maximum size and minimum size. I click the minimum size. This is a minimum object size. And this is the maximum object size. I configure like that. It really depends your scene. It because if your scene is have a larger object, something like this. Because why I make it, make it like this, within minimum and maximum, this kind of range, Pass through the lane, it will trigger the CMS. If not is smaller than this minimum, will not trigger. And this larger than this will not trigger. Why 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 I want to do like that? It's because we need to minimize the false alarm. Okay? Because more bigger that means maybe the object is very near to the camera, something like fly, something like that, or maybe a spider thing go through your camera so he will trigger the false alarm <coughs> so this is to prevent the false alarm okay so after that we save it so in this leakage method you make sure the notify surveillance center are thick then we just save it on it there's nothing to do over the camera here right now because at this line crossing detection I already set up okay so the now the left only the CMS. So I turn off this can turn off this and turn off this. 
Do you see they have a CMS, IBMS 4200? Okay, this is the CMS software of the HIK Vision, which is going to be free. So, you just use on it at the device. Okay. So, you go to the here. Okay, this is a general page. You go to device management, because now I'm going to add the device into the CMS software. So, they have a add and online. So, make sure you add it's just it's the camera not in your system maybe the remote view something like that but now the camera are under my system so I go for online devices I look for it okay here is my camera I take on it I press add so I just put the name this name can be any name because make sure you know on it username admin password is this okay so synchronize time add Okay, the camera is already successful add into the system. Just make sure that their group over here have these camera parameters. Okay, it's done, finished, ready. So we come to include going to main view. Okay, for this part, do you see notice anything about this camera on your bottom left hand side? Do you notice on it? Okay, so when this enable. It will, tr it will trigger the pop up and when this enable it will trigger the sound okay that is for the configuration parts the, like this will be successful configure finish the system so we wait for the event okay so uh, so we waiting for the event but anyway I will this I will skip my next another video